What's up guys, I'm Brian Sakawa, you're watching He Spoke Style, and welcome to the studio. Today I am going to be taking you on a studio tour, but not just any studio tour. This is a studio tour in 360 degrees. Now I've been wanting to show you guys the space that we create all of the content, where I spend a lot of my time working during the day, and also this man cave that my wife allowed me to have in the basement of our house. So before we get to any of that uh, cool stuff, we're just gonna start off with some of the more boring things. Like for example, this is where the steamer lives, behind the door. <laughs> and right over here is a small bathroom that we keep stocked with some very stylish reading material. And on the wall, I have a nice picture of Cary Grant right here. And on the other side of the door is a photo of Fred Astaire. Now this right here is the utility closet for the entire house, but it is also the storage area for a lot of the gear uh, that we have that we're not using at the moment, and also a lot of the packing material for the He Spoke Style shop. Now on the floor, you can see that I have photos here, and actually there are photos all over the floor everywhere. I just don't have enough wall space for the photos I have, so they live on the floor. Now, <laughs> you might be asking yourself what this big piece of equipment is here. This is actually some of the gear that we are going to be using for the live show. It's, it, that's what it takes to do live the way we want to do it. Now over here, I want to point out a couple of things. This little piece right here is by Adam Moore, who's a fantastic watch photographer. I have a letter here from Bill Clinton that he wrote me in 1996. My father suggested that uh, I write to Bill Clinton and offer him a saxophone lesson. And although he did not take me up on the saxophone lesson, he did send me that very nice letter, which I still have. This humongous boat came from <laughs> my friend Ken's menswear shop. He had the best menswear shop in Baltimore and he retired about a couple years ago and he got rid of a lot of the, a lot of the cool things that he had in the shop. And this was one of them, including all of the photos uh, that I've showed you so far it came from his shop as well. But I really like this boat. So now it lives here. So let's check it out over here. All right, so this area should look very familiar if you have followed on Instagram for a while and saw, remember, photos of the old studio or have seen the studio tour that we did on the website just with photos. So we basically just transplanted the old studio and put it right here. We really like this setup. So one thing that's been upgraded is the shelving here. Now in the old studio, we had kind of flimsy Rubbermaid shelves, but because this is going to be more permanent, I upgraded to a nice uh, shelving from the container store. On the shelves, we have some great menswear books, lots of watch catalogs, um, cigar boxes. <laughs> Up at the top, you can see another photo of Cary Grant. We got Steve McQueen there. One of the earliest photos that we took when we started He Spoke Style, a nice vintage uh, shave soap advertisement. <clears throat> John Coltrane here, one of my earliest saxophone heroes, or one of my saxophone heroes. Then this great quote from Walter Langa, from uh, Langa and Sona, who says, there's something one should expect not only of a watch, but also of oneself to never stand still. I really like that quote. One other thing I want to point out on the top of the shelf is this sign right here. When we had the old studio, this was the sign that we had outside. So this is where I relax and just when I need to kind of clear my head, I'll sit here, you know, if we're just going to hang out, this is where we go. On the coffee table, some choice books right here. And of course, my Leica camera. So let's go over here now. Now you can see on that side of the bookshelf, and this side of the bookshelf, it's bookended by two prints by my friend Tug Rice. They're beautiful. Dehumidifier, it is the basement. We have a wet bar here, a wine fridge, espresso machine, water cooler. This is where we have all the conversations. <laughs> and uh, right here is a beautiful bar called the Corridor Bar by BDI Furniture. So let me show you this real quick have some of my favorite bottles in here, some of my favorite uh, cocktail books. Well, up here we have the Waldorf Astoria cocktail book, Playboy's Host and Bar book, Death & Co., New York Times book of cocktails, the PDT cocktail book, and the indispensable vintage spirits and forgotten cocktails. Now, I just want to point this shaker out here. You know I'm a fan of the Thin Man movies, and in the beginning of the third Thin Man, which is called Another Thin Man, uh, this shaker features pretty prominently. 
All right. Obviously right here is my Eames chair, which is a place I really like to relax. So let's go over here and take a look at this area. So over here is where we keep all of the stock for the He Spoke Style Shop. It's a very small operation, so you know it is very mom and pop, so we keep everything right there. I have, this is from a trip that we did with BMW uh, a number of years ago. When we got off the plane, they had the BMW sign with our name underneath, so I wanted to keep that. This is a table where everything gets packed on, and I have a nice watch winder right here that I'm gonna be doing a review of very soon. So let's go over to this area. All right, so this area is going to look very familiar to all of you. This is where we record all of the outfit videos. Obviously, when we're shooting, we take the clothing rack here and roll it back over there where the mannequin is. Uh, one of the challenges that we really faced when we moved into this space is that the old studio had a lot of natural light. It was very beautiful to shoot in. But as you can see above the bookshelf there and right over here, we just have these two little windows. It is the basement. And those windows are actually under the deck. So there is like no natural light that comes in here. So it was a little bit of a challenge, but we have these two big light panels here, which when I turn them on, you can see that there is tons of light. It looks very natural and it's very good for video shooting. So we're very happy that we figured that out. And we just have to bounce it off the ceiling, which is pretty neat. So final stop right over here. So this area is going to look uh, very familiar to you uh, as well. This is my desk and this is where I record most of the talking portions of the videos that we do right here. Now, I just want to point out a couple things over here. We have a nice photo of Nick and Nora and Asta. On the wall are some of the favorite our favorite photos that we've ever made. This is a campaign that we did for Dom Perignon. This photo is one from the BMW tri trip that we did a number of years ago with my friend John Paolo Aliata. Behind me, nice picture of Clark Gable. On the bookshelf here, I just want to point out right here, is an almost complete collection of the Rake magazines. Now, there are some that aren't available, so I will always have those holes in my collection. But uh, yeah, so that is the studio. It's where we make all the content. It's where I spend a lot of my time working and also just hanging out. I'm glad to have you guys along for the ride today. I hope you enjoyed the 360 format. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, thanks for watching and stay tailored.